Welcome to our YouTube video series on employment law, focusing on employee terminations. My name is Christopher Newfeld of Newfeld Legal. And in this particular video, we'll be discussing what some may call the gold standard of layoffs, being that of Google. With respect to their recent layoffs at the end of January 2023, where they did lay off approximately 12,000 employees. And we'll look at the basic parameters that their offboarding team provided to laid off employees to see what exactly Google is providing to their laid off or terminated employees and how one can consider this the gold standard. So in the offboarding support overview that is provided to laid off employees, they start off by saying, we have some difficult news to share. We are reducing our workforce and are very sorry to tell you that your role is impacted and we no longer have a job for you at Google. Now, this is very common language that you see over and over again now that people are being laid off by email text and through computer systems as opposed to a personalized um, layoff process that used to pervade in most businesses now actually part of the issue is that a lot of employees are not even working from an office so that you have to communicate in one way or another and since people apparently don't like doing by phone or video call they prefer to start off and do it by email text or some form of that type nowadays when they're doing these massive layoffs and attempting to control their own exposure and possibly safety so it goes on to say, we want you to know that we recognize how difficult this is and we appreciate all you've contributed to Google. You'll find more information below on how we'll support you through this transition, but some of the details include. And now we look at why we're saying that Google in many respects, like certain other tech companies, have come to become known as what we think is the gold standard with respect to base level of layoffs and this is because there could be more particularized layoffs for higher level individuals but this apparently is the base standard the minimum standard that they're providing to all laid off employees in this case 12,000 employees first compensation you'll be paid during the full notification period minimum 60 days you'll also receive a severance package starting at 16 weeks salary plus two weeks for every additional year at google with the footnote that you qualify for severance accelerated vesting and cash health care subsidy benefits upon signing a separation agreement and release that's a critical consideration but given how significant the competition is in most circumstances people will be taking on this compensation as opposed to challenging it. Because if you've been working, for example, at Google for even four years, you're talking about a total of two months plus four months plus another two months for a total of eight months of severance together with the notification pay quite significant. Next, stock. We will accelerate GSU vesting starting at 16 weeks plus two additional weeks for every full year at Google. Once again, a very high level of vesting that goes beyond the termination period, not required by law, but provided possibly in the contract, but at the behest of Google itself, to lessen the impact financially of working for a tech company. Third, bonus. You'll receive your 2022 bonus. You should have already received 80% of your on-target bonus 
and you can expect the remainder in March. Once again, we're seeing that they're finalizing aspects, they're structuring stuff so that you're not going to be that much out of pocket beyond what was expected. Instead of a large part of bonus forthcoming, most of the bonus within the structure and the layoff time has been paid out with minimal left to be done. Next, PTO or paid time off, you'll be paid for any unused vacation. Pretty reasonable, most likely covered by most employment standards legislation in the United States, which is minimal at best, but also covered by contract. So this is not a major aspect, but just an assurance that that is going to be paid out and available to the employees. Next, healthcare. Your existing health insurance will continue through the last day of the month of your end date. You'll also receive a six month cash healthcare subsidy for medical, dental, and vision expenses after that. This again, provides some protection and continuance while one is transitioning. It's more than is required by law and may well have some aspects covered in contract or the employment policies that exist at Google at the time, but is a very good basis, especially for one to transition during this period of time. Immigration support. And this is a very prominent one in Silicon Valley these days to be seen. We know this is a particularly tough situation for those of you on visas. We will host information sessions to help you understand your situation and provide legal support and cover necessary travel to help you with this transition. A very important aspect given how many people would appear to be working in the field on visas and thus very concerned about their status and the ability to properly transition given that you're, you're starting to build a life in another country and now you're being pulled away. Mental health support. Both you and your dependents will continue to have access to our employee assistance program for six months after your end date. Again, very important especially for the last group of people being the immigrants who are working on visas, something that they should be taking advantage of and using to the best of their ability. Just job placement. You have the option to use six months of professional outplacement services to support you in your search for a new role or a different challenge. This has become increasingly common with respect to employees who have been terminated and you're seeing it throughout the industry where there is this new industry of support for finding new work, which is in effect advantageous to the employer to avoid issues associated with uh, employees who challenge the employer with respect to inadequate severance. Because if you're not actively pursuing new employment, and using their job placement services that can be problematic for the terminated employee and hence they put this in place and it's beneficial to the employer seems to be a new cottage industry of this professional outplacement services that is being more heavily funded by large employers when they terminate their employees Finally, they say that you can find more details in a notification email sent to your personal inbox. Scroll down to see next steps and more information to help you through the process. We're here to help get you through. We're here to help get you the information you need. And then signed off by someone on Google's leadership team. Here again, the emphasis is on getting you the information that the terminated or laid off employee requires, providing lots of resources that they can access and trying to cover the, the company off itself as well as possible to minimize 
litigation and issues associated with while providing a package that truly has become what we would consider the gold standard for employee layoffs of this massive level. Thank you.